Hi everybody and good morning. It is Monday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. I'm Dave Chodowski with your three news now morning update. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me on the WKYC Facebook and Instagram pages. And we start with Matt Wintz for a check of today's forecast. Hi, Matt. Well, hi there, Dave. A cold start to our Valentine's Day. We were in the single digits this morning. We're going to moderate as we go throughout the afternoon in the 20s. Beyond that, a quiet Tuesday. We'll start to warm things up, and then we talk winter storms. So let's talk about that later on this week. This is where the action's at. Notice how we're quiet today. We're quiet tomorrow as well. A couple flurries possible today, but as we get into the middle half of the week, this is on into Wednesday, we're going to really pump temperatures up. Strong south wind out ahead of an area of low pressure will be in the 50s for highs on Wednesday. That's going to be some welcome relief. We'll likely have decent snow melt going on. Low pressure will approach from the west. That will start as some rain. Wednesday night by Thursday we're talking all rain problem is we got cold air coming into the system at the same time so as that meets up that rain will likely change over to a wintry mix of freezing rain sleet and some snow could get icy around here depending on the exact track of this low if it goes further north we're all rain goes further south we're going to be all snow but right now we're going with some ice later on Thursday temperatures will crash we'll end with some snow on into the daytime Friday and we clear things out but it'll be much colder on the back side of the system Here's how it translates seven day wise 22 today 35 tomorrow with sunshine much much warmer by Wednesday we will start warm Thursday before temps crash and then Dave we're back down in the 20s Friday but this time of year we don't stay with the 20s too long we will bounce back nicely I think by Sunday. Wow wild seven day. All right Matt thank you. Well the Olympics the Super Bowl how about the NBA all star game. It is a little less than a week away and our city's going to be buzzing, right? February 18th through the 20th. The festivities kick off on Friday with the All-Star Game Celebrity Game. And you can go to WKYC.com for a full list of events. And local restaurants have been prepping for the weeks ahead of the All-Star Weekend, hoping to see a huge economic boost. Here's what Sauce the City and Saucy Brew Works are doing to prepare. Yeah, a lot of takeouts, yeah, a lot of pizzas, a lot of Cleveland hot chicken sandwiches, a lot of catering happening, a lot of wings went out today. We were down there um, a couple of days ago teaching the chefs how to, you know, to make the sandwiches, make sure all the specs was perfect. I just hope that uh, everybody in this area, including us, can get their names out there and generate more uh, guests coming in each and every day. And a big day for Guardians fans. Regular season tickets go on sale today starting at 10 a.m. Fans can buy regular season tickets, including the home opener, which is right now set for March 31st against Kansas City. That may change as the league continues to deal with the lockout. A meeting over the weekend made little progress between the league and the MLBPA. Well, the Guardians are looking to hire seasonal workers for the upcoming season. There will be two more open interview sessions throughout February and March after holding the first session over this weekend. The next opportunity will be February 26th and then again on March 2nd at Progressive Field. They are looking to hire a number of positions, including cashiers, supervisors, vendors and warehouse operation workers. Here are three local stories we are following and we start with a tragic story out of Bedford Heights where a mother is under arrest and the death of her five year old daughter. Saturday night police were called to a home on Northfield Road. The caller said that five year old Anijah Noel Holland had been stabbed. The girl's mother was still at the home and taken into custody. Police continue to investigate. As of today, all University Hospital employees must have at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. This comes after the Supreme Court's decision to uphold a vaccine mandate for most healthcare workers that was put in place by the Biden administration. All employees were able to apply for a medical or a religious exemption. It's a popular tourist destination year round, but Hocking Hill State Park announced they are closed until further notice due to unsafe trail conditions. The trails can get extremely icy in the winter and falling ice also a danger. Hocking Hill State Park released a statement yesterday saying visitors are asked to not enter the park for any reason and they will reopen the park once it is safe. Well, Valentine's Day is here and that means a local tradition will continue over in Crocker Park. This afternoon, 14 couples and counting will get married inside a beautifully decorated Market Square. After their 15 minute ceremony, each couple will get a complimentary gift basket with mementos from some of the shops and restaurants there. This will be the fourth year for the event. Many of you might be getting gifts today, but how much are Americans spending? Those planning to celebrate will spend an average range of roughly $175 to $210. That's according to recent surveys from LendingTree and the National Retail Federation. 
The top buys for this year include candy, cards, flowers, and jewelry. Makes sense, right? Well, I want to thank you for taking the time to join me for this 3 News Now morning update. Make sure to continue to check our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout the day. I'm Dave Chodowski. I'll see you again tomorrow morning on go at 4.30. Have a great Valentine's Day, everybody. See you tomorrow.